Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I will be showing you how I created this digital notes using Microsoft Word. And stay tuned because I will share with you a free template of this digital notes. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. The first thing you have to do is open Microsoft Word. Then you can now start modifying the page. You can first go to margins option and choose the margin dimensions you prefer. Next, click on the size option and choose the paper size you will use. Choose the orientation of your notes and think about whether you will use a one column or two column notes. And after modifying the page, so now go to fontspace.com and look for a font you want. You can also use the default font from Microsoft Word, but if you want to use other styles, you can download it on Fontspace. Look first for a font, then just click on the download button. After you save a couple of fonts, click on the downloaded fonts below, then click install. Now let's open colorhunt.co and you can choose a color palette you want. And in here, I just chose this neutral shades. And for the content of the notes tutorial, I will use the info from websites. In your case, you can place your draft notes on the other side of the screen. And on Microsoft Word, you can customize and organize them well. So first is to add the title of the lesson, and you can choose the font style for it. Next is to open color hand, then choose a color from the palette. Copy the color code, you can just click on the color, and it will automatically be copied. Next is to paste it here on Microsoft Word. Go to font color option and paste the code. Next is click on shapes, choose the curve option, and create a wavy shape. Adjust its size, and again you can copy the code from the palette and paste it here on MS Word. I will then choose the no outline option and send the shape behind the text. You can duplicate the shape and repeat the process by adding another color to the shape. And for the third one is I just added another irregular shape until the blank space at the corner will be covered and then I placed another color code. And also send the photo at the back and you can now adjust them. You can now add your notes under the title. So here you can place the definition and apply your preferred font style and color. I then added a text box and paste here additional notes. Make sure to set the outline to transparent and here you can add the title or a subheader and apply another font style. Here I then added a connector line so we can adjust the line until you will have it on both sides. You can also choose your preferred dashes style and the weight of the line. Next, you can duplicate the text box and lines and place your additional notes. So if you want to add a picture, you can easily copy the image from the website and place it on your notes. Adjust its size, and if you want to include additional notes beside it, just duplicate the text box. You can also change the bullet style. And here I added this rounded corner shape. Send the shape at the back and apply a shape fill you want. Do some adjustments and add more notes. 
I then duplicated again the text box and placed it at the bottom. I added here the parts of the endocrine system, which I am currently taking notes on. And add another page if the first page is already full and just continue adding notes. I just modified the terms by changing the font style and the color. Then I added this connector lines again. And another way you can add notes is you can add them on a table. So here I placed a 2x7 table, then add more notes. Adjust the text style and add more terms and definitions to the other column. You can either set the borders to transparent or apply another border color. And for the last portion, I added this rectangle shape apply a brown border color, and set the shape fill to transparent. I then change the dash style and weight of the border, then add a text within the shape. You can then modify the text and terms. So here I am just arranging them. And after that, this is what it looks like. You can now save your notes and print them. I will be including a template of this below in the description. You can use it for free. And yes, thank you so much for watching. And yes, that is all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And see you on my next video. Bye, guys.